5.4D, Introduction to Polynomials, Multiply a Monomial by a Polynomial. Consider what we have done previously when we had a number out front of a binomial. We had to distribute this number through by multiplying it to each piece within, giving us 15x minus 30. We will use this same process when multiplying a monomial by a polynomial, and we will distribute. It will be important to remember your rules about multiplying monomials to do this. Let's look at the first example. We first must distribute 5x cubed to 3x squared. Remember, this is a multiplication, therefore the rules applying to multiplication of monomials apply. This means we multiply the two numbers together, giving us 15. We then can add the exponents on the variables. This will give us x to the fifth. Remember, this is not adding and subtracting where we need to worry about like terms. This is multiplication. In multiplication, we are doing a distribution where we add the exponents of the variables. Let's do the second distribution. We now have 5 times negative 4, which is negative 20. We have 3 x's and 1 x, which gives us x to the fourth. We do the last distribution, and we see that it is 5 times 2, or a positive 10 x to the third. No more can be combined, so this is our final answer. Let's look at example 2 where we will once again distribute a monomial through a trinomial. We will start by distributing the first. We have negative 2 times 5, which gives us negative 10. We then have 3 a's and then one additional a, which gives us a to the fourth. The b's add to create b to the fifth. We now move on to the second term. When we multiply the two next terms, we have negative 2 times negative 6, which gives us a positive 12. We then have a to the third and a to the second, which add to become a to the fifth. Finally, we have b and b to the seventh, which add to become b to the eighth. We then distribute to the very last term, and we have negative 2 times a positive 2, which gives us a negative 4. We then have a to the third and a to the fourth, which gives us a to the seventh. Finally, we have one b from the beginning, and there is nothing to add it to, so it just stays one b. This is our final answer, as none of the terms has like terms. Remember, you only can add or subtract if there are like terms, meaning the terms have the same variable and exponent.